at the Las Vegas Card Show this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Before we make any deals, I have to give a huge shout out to Card Shop Live. They are sponsoring this video. They're a uh, live online marketplace where people rip boxes and also sell singles. You can find out more information below in the description. Let's make some deals happen. Would you do 150 on the lot? Uh, let me ask my brother. You had, uh, you had 180 on the lot. Could you do 150? Huh? You had 180 on the lot. Could you do 150? 150. Yeah, we'll do it. Awesome. So typically I don't go through bargain bins first, but this was one of the first stands that was open and I saw here at the show. I picked up these four cards for $150. It's kind of cool. You had a second year remaining refractor and also a mini Minozo autograph. I didn't know the National had a like a Bryce Harper miniature card like this that they gave away maybe as like a promo or something like that. Gotta do a little bit more research. And then the 3000 Hit Club and 500 home run cards are always popular. The upper deck produced in the late 90s and early 2000s. So I saw the Gwen, decided to grab that as well. Easy enough. I like that. That makes it easy. I use the separate sports, but also I like to use this for people. Dude, I hate going through stuff like that. Oh, yeah, they. My spot. It looks like I can freaking lose my mind. <laughs> it happens too much. Yeah. Alright, you had no price on the Kershaw. What did you have on that? Yeah, it's up to 15. for both? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. That's the goal. Yeah, your your uh, your vintage collection is fucking insane. It's getting there. Uh, it's getting. Can go wrong with bargain bins. Like the black parallel cards from Tops, they always sell. Even like common names or semi stars, people want to have them in their collection. So getting it as a throw in wasn't too bad. And a Kershaw number to 50. In my opinion, he's been the best pitcher since 2008. So no brainer deal. So you didn't have this out here yesterday. You're just luring me back for round two. Appreciate that. Okay. Wait, wasn't that the dude who bought everything I wanted five yeah. minutes before? Yep. Message me if you have a figure in your room. Let's do it. Let's do it. Seriously, I will. Where are you at? You're on the road. Well, room. that was to your oh, favorite. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It was. So you Two pretty nice patches that I'll throw in the Relic PC. Couldn't pass them up because usually you only see like one or two colored, but these are each multicolored pieces and they're both numbered to less than 50. Picked up the pair for $50 as well. Can I take a look at your big roof roller? The roof? Yeah. I think you could do 160 cash on this. Yeah, a little bit. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. This is a cool piece. Pretty easy pickup here with the Babe Ruth Relic. People always ask me for his bat or jersey card, so it's nice to get one in stock. While we walk over to the next deal, I need your guys' help. So with the Las Vegas Card Show, I've officially now traveled half the country. I've gone to a card show in 25 of the 50 states. So 25 more to go. To help me get there, all I'm asking you guys to do is subscribe to the channel. It is 100% free. Whether you're a new visitor or someone that's watched a lot of the videos, every single week I upload a card show vlog, card show pickups, 
spotting fakes video, as well as top 10 lists. So if you want to learn more about vintage sports cards or just card shows in general, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys very much. Let's make this next deal happen. So just picked up this Allen and Ginter of James Dwight from Face Sports Cards and the Sheesh father and son combo that are always at card shows and super active on Facebook. So Dwight was one of the two all favors in the set. He also had Sears and their early tennis pioneers in So we just picked up this 1956 maze. It's a two and a half. Two, half grades are sometimes tough to move, but it is centered pretty nice and early maze cards are always well worth it. So I got it for $215. That's like annoying. Yeah, so what happened at that show show at the end of the month. We decided to pick up some local cards. Uh, first we have the triple threads on there is Pedroia and Sale. So it's Benetendi so that should do pretty well. And we have a Yaz and Benetendi that's hand numbered from Heritage. Two cards that you don't see every single day. The card shop live booth today they have a radar set up which is really sick. Let's check that out over here. So we're going to throw a few pitches and see what we can register which is down below. Let's see if we can hit 70. Try number two. <laughs> Alright, last try. Let's try to break 70. <laughs> We're gonna break 70 tomorrow. Done buying for day one. Up next, I have an Eddie Vedder card show, but I'm not gonna take you guys there. Put a picture on the screen right now. See you in day two. Day number two here. There's a few things that I saw yesterday that I was semi-interested in. So we're gonna see if I'm gonna be able to make those deals happen. I will say though, Eddie Vedder last night, one of the best concerts that I ever went to. So if you have a chance to see him or Pearl Jim, make sure you get it to do that. Anyways, let's find these deals. Ended up picking up these two cards here for $100. Can't go wrong with Hall of Fame, Jersey Auto, and then also a 59 Sandy Kofax. Always yeah, easy deals for Kershaw's. So I had these in inventory a while. We have a Kershaw Rookie 9.5, and then a Kershaw Allen and Ginter Auto. So in return, I'm gonna be picking up this Harmon Killer Brew in a five, as well as $60 cash. It's always, thank you. Wrong texture. No good on that. Were you worth the gamble? Okay. Okay. That's what, that's what I wanted to know. Another one. You guys can see this. Someone tried the really hard on this one. So you'd think, right? Like, dash is. But look at that corner over there. So I might be a little bit ahead. No good. Yeah, or it's pretty close. Or it's like, 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 it's
stands out. You feel the texture on this yeah. compared to the other one, right? So like. Oh yeah, it's got a light like a. So now feel the yeah. texture of this card right here. Oh, oh not yeah. Even close. See. Oh, oh, easy. Yeah. There you go. It's, got a, it's got its own light. So now look at like the printing on that card versus the other one. See how way different? Oh, uh, yeah. What are you looking for? No, I was just showing how that card was fake. Oh. Uh, Someone brought it to their table. Yeah, when you showed it to me, I'm like, I'm like, it's not real. Did, did you bought them? Yeah, that is such a good uh, uh, We didn't. Yeah. Our, 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 our friend our here, neighbor, our, our neighbor, our dealer here. What do you buy them for? Slab you want. Like that. But anyway, I just I just wanted to give those to you. Thank you. I and, really and appreciate the it. Card and um, you know if you're interested in the product, check out the website. I'm not looking for a free promotion. I just wanted to thank you again for the. No problem. These the are cool. Class. The magnetics. Excellent. Yeah. I'll definitely use these. Yeah, right on. Sweet. And then they got QR codes on the back of those too. Should you want to check awesome. out the website and all that. So. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you again. No problem. Shane Bieber pitched well last night. We are getting rid of this refractor auto. I've had it forever and uh, we'll make another deal. 60 bucks. Yeah. There we go. I got it. There you go. Make some money off of it, man. All right, so we got both of these cards. We need a Euchre rookie. It's the first of my bone, one of these. Super popular though, and then this was kind of cool. You don't see it every day. Roger Maris Jumbo. I wish it was with the Yankees. These were news athletics, but still, nice relic from Absolute 2005. Brita. Right. Picked up this cob a while back. It is numbered four of ten. We ended up selling it for one hundred and forty dollars. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. On this? Um, how about 900 on it? Like, Meet at 875? 875 Can't go wrong picking up a 1953 Willie Mays. This is rookies of 51 foam and not the 52 tops that people claim with the mantle. It's not to go off the full tangent on that, but $850, no brainer with this. How are you? Good. My card's here. Yeah. So we the steel for 580. Cepeda rookie, then Mantle Aaron, and the 855 Mace. Thank you. You too. Look first at the 40 Ted Williams. Yeah. And then can I also look at your two other mazes? Your, your 56 and 57. Cards or do you have more vintage over there? Uh, oh, this are, is your friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. sorry. You're good, man. I bought the three in cash. Where do you think your friend could be at? Where are you at on it? Um, to it honest. could be 18, that's 2250. I mean, I can give you a little bit of discount because it's vintage, you know what I mean? The value is already in. What are we, what the total come out to be? You'd have 2250 total. I 
probably, to be honest with you, I'd probably be around like 2050 or 2100. You think you could swing 2000? What? You think you could swing 2000 cash? 2200? No, 2000 cash? Maybe about 10% off the sticker. Cash? Yeah. Yeah, we can do it. Let's do it. All right. I was looking to make that big deal. Finally made it at the show. 1940 Ted Williams 2.5. You guys watched some of the recent vlogs. I picked up the rookie card. Literally sold it the same day I purchased it. I know the second year is popular. Not as popular as the rookie, but this was a very clean looking 2.5. And hey, picking up two Willie Mays cards in the deal as well. Can't pass it up for two grand. That is a wrap for Vegas. See you next week, Chicago. Oh, and you should watch this card show vlog right here.